Welcome to Still Works in Bruin. My name is Randy. Uh, this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. Okay, today what we're going to talk about is refractometers. Okay, I know you all know about you know refractometers for uh, finding the uh, specific gravity, but we've been using them for a while now, and I've had pretty good luck with it and pretty you know trust it. But I happened to found one for. ABV. Now, I think we ought to check this out and see see what we find out about it. So, let's get started. First, there's four things that you can really do to help this channel out. Number one, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Number two, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Number three, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. And number four, share us with your friends. Get the word out. Okay, let's get started. So, what is a refractometer? And in our case, it's an optical uh, device for checking uh, the specific gravity, and in this case, uh, ABV. So, uh, how it works is, the definition I found was, when light enters a liquid, it changes directions. This is called refraction. Refractometers measure the degree to which the light changes direction, it's called the angle of refraction. This correlates to the index values that has been been established. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Okay. So, like I said, I've been using the refractometer for a while for for uh, specific gravity, and it's it, it's been doing me a pretty good job. I think it's pretty close to, you know, the uh, hydrometer. Uh, when I found this, I thought it would be really, really nice when you're running your still that you could just take a few drops out and check the ABV. Uh, I thought that would make things a lot easier. Uh, a lot of people say, well, you could use a parrot. I sometimes think that in the, in the home distillation with the smaller quantity of what we're doing is that you will get smearing through the uh, parrot. Now if you go and look at uh, Jesse over at Stillet, he did a video on smearing of the uh, parrot. So check that out and uh, it makes a lot of sense too. So what I want to do is I want to kind of test this and I'm going to let you know what we find. Uh, I'd like to check it at a few different temperatures and I'll measure it with the uh, the uh, refractometer versus proof and trails, and I'll let you know what uh, what comes up. Okay, so. I'll
Okay, so I brought this sample up to 70 degrees. Let me double check myself. Okay, 70 degrees. So let's see what we got with the proof and trails. So I am floating right at 40 to right at 40 percent with the proof and trails. Now let's see what we got with the uh, I'm looking 41. So we got 40 and 41. That's pretty darn close. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to boost her up to 90 degrees and let's 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 see what we got there. Now it does say that this is calculated at 20 degrees Celsius, which is roughly, roughly 70 degrees. I think it's what 68 or something like that. Okay, so let me get the temperature of the sample up to about 90, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I brought, I brought this up to 90 degrees. Put our proof of trails in there. It went up to about 42, it looks like. About 42. So let's see what this says. It stayed right at 41. Now they say this is automatic temperature controlling, so I, I don't know. So, with that said, let's, let's boost her up by 10 more degrees and I, I don't think that we have to go any higher than that, I don't believe. But it never comes off the still that, that warm. Not warm. Okay, I brought that up to 110 degrees. Let's see what we got now. We chat. It will never come off the still that hot. I've, I've never seen it come off that hot.
we're looking right at at 42. Right, let's see what we got with this. She dropped down to 40. So, what I have, we started at 70 degrees. I, I heated up the sample to 70 degrees. We were looking at 40 and 41. We moved that up to 90 degrees for the sample. 42, 41, then we boosted up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, 42, and 40. Well, I think they're pretty, pretty darn close, enough where I would not be afraid to use this. And I'm thinking what would be really super nice, like what I mentioned before, as you're running the still coming off, just be able to take a couple samples, you know, a couple drops, just, just to see what uh, what your still is doing, that might be a another nice tool in the toolbox. So I, I'm I'm kind of glad it worked out good because I think it's going to be nice to have. Well, I think this was a pretty uh, good experiment. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Enjoy the adventure. We'll see you next time.